All right, so now that we have set up our email list, we want to have a way that people can use to actually sign up to our email list, to our email newsletter. So if you have a website, what you can do is just put a simple registration form on your website, or if you don't have a website or you don't want to use your website to gain your subscribers, you can also just build a landing page. Um, I'm going to show you how to build a form first and how to put that form on your WordPress website. So if you go to the menu on the top left right here, you see forms and surveys. So we're going to click on this and then we're going to click on create form right here. And what we're going to use for this tutorial is this list builder wizard where they have a lot of templates that you can use already. So whatever um, fits your website or whatever makes sense for you, you want to go through all these templates and choose the one that makes the more sense for you. On the left side here, you have some different categories. So you have general signup forms, you have um, order signup forms, free download signup forms, which is great for lead magnets. So you can go through there and also you can, um, you can change these sizes. So you can change it from wide to wider to max. So for example, at a, in a blog post, a white um, form would make more sense. Uh, and for the footer, for example, a, um, a square form might make more sense or for a sidebar, a square form might make more sense. So um, for this tutorial, let's choose a wider form. And for example, I'm going to choose this one right here. And then it opens up our form builder where we can change everything of uh, all the content in our form. So here, first of all, let's change the text. So I'm going to just um, highlight this and I'm going to change it to, um, let's say I'm giving away a um, one lead mag that I'm giving away is a free YouTube optimization checklist. So I'm just going to say, um, get our free YouTube optimization checklist here. Then I'm going to change this image to the cover of the checklist. So I'm going to click on this right here and then I'm going to add file, upload from computer, choose this cover right here, add, and then I'm going to click on use and then it changes this image right here. So let's make it a bit smaller. You can also mess around with the size of this form so you can drag it out, but then you have to just move this over as well. So just drag it over and you can also drag around the button as well. Uh, if you want to have more, um, more things on your form, what you can do is go to the right side, look here, and then you can drag in whatever you want to um, put in your form. So you can drag in some more text right here. You can drag in, maybe you want to also ask for the last name. So you can drag in a last name field right here, but you would have to make this a bit bigger and then you would have to kind of put it here as well. So you can really just, it's really drag and drop and you can take some time to build the perfect form that fits your website. So I don't want to spend too much time designing with this, um, with this builder, one thing I want to show you is that you can on the top right here you can click on the plus and then you have a variant form. So what you can do is maybe change up the text here on this form, on this uh, example. And then it will just sometimes it will show the variant A and sometimes it will show the variant B. And then you will see exactly how many people opt in with the first option with this variant A and how many opt in, how many um, how much percent um, opts in with the variant B. So you can see which one converts better, which is really powerful. You can always test out what works best um, for your website. So let's say we're happy with this form right now. What we, what we can do is click on preview on the top right and then we see how it looks like, how it will look like eventually. And then we can also go to the settings on the top here and um, we can change the name. So let's say this is YouTube checklist choose the list that people will put on when they um, sign up through that sign up form, then confirm opt-in. I have it turned off right here. Then you can also add it to a cycle of a, um, of your autoresponder. So you can say maybe they start on day three of your autoresponder or on day zero. Um, I don't 
have set up an autoresponder yet, so I'm going to turn this off. Then um, you can say uh, that you want to have them stay on the page, which is what I recommend because they maybe are reading your blog post and they don't want to get off your website when they uh, when they sign up using your form. Um, then already subscribed URL. So what will happen if they are already subscribed? I would just leave it on stay on page. Then recapture on the second step. I just have it turned off because it's really annoying. Um, choose tracking custom. This is really advanced for contact data, not needed. So this is what I would do with the settings. Click save. And then we can go to the top here and click on publish. All right, so now we have this Java code and we have to use this code to put on our website. So I'm gonna show you how to put this form on your WordPress website. All right, so now I open one of my example websites that I've used for tutorials. And to put this specific form on your website, all you gotta do is you have to go to, for example, we wanna put it in a blog post. So let's go to all posts right here and then choose this hello world post. And then what I do is I go to the part where I want to insert this specific form. So let's say we want to insert it here. I'm going to type in something that I know where I want to put it in. So I'm going to just going to type in 999. Then I'm going to go to the top right, click on the three dots, and I'm going to change to code editor. Then I go back to my get response account and copy this JavaScript code. Copy right here. Then I go back to my code editor of my blog post and I look for whatever I've inserted as a placeholder for this form. So here I just highlight this part and I right click and paste. This will paste my JavaScript code in my blog post. And now when we go to update on the top right and click on preview, preview in a new tab, then we should see this specific form on our website. So as you can see, the, the form that we have built now is in our website and we can type in our email address right here. So let's say simon at, at maddoxmedia.com. Click on download now and then people stay on the page. They can continue reading this blog post. And now when we go back to our get response account, then we will, when we go to lists right here, we should see um, a new subscriber. So let's go to Maddox Tutorials, which is our list. And as you can see here, this new contact is now in our email list. Now you can also put that form on the footer of your website or on the sidebar. If you want, would want to do that, you would go to um, your WordPress account, then go to appearance, um, appearance, go to customize, and then go to widgets right here. And here you see the footer widget number one and the footer widget number two. If I would want to put it here, I just go to footer widget number one, click on add widget, go to custom HTML, and then I would just paste my JavaScript code in this field right here, click on add widget. And then I have to click on publish on the top right here, and then it will add this form right here. Obviously, now it would make more sense to have like a square form. Um, because it fits better in the footer or if you have a sidebar as well then you can put it in the sidebar widget um, however you want to.